Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be going over the uh, special edition of Tandem A Tale of Shadows uh, by Funstock. And um, they have graciously sent me uh, this copy along with a copy of the game as well as uh, some additional materials uh, which we're going to go over together. Uh, so I guess first off, just to uh, get it out of the way, let's open up the, uh, the cartridge itself which uh, should be rather simple, right? Let's uh, see what's inside. A lot of the times Nintendo Switch games these days don't actually have like manuals or anything in them. Some uh, game companies have actually taken to printing out kind of like fake manuals that you could put inside of the Nintendo Switch cases these days. And uh, you know, it's, it's interesting, but it's not exactly, you know, like the legitimate real thing, right? So inside we do not have a manual, and there's Mr. Nimoy. Mr. Nimoy, you're not part of this video. Get back on my shoulder, sir. Uh, looks like we have a uh, limited warranty. Nothing too fancy there. Um, the cartridge itself is uh, pretty simple. A nice little yellow uh, cover. Has a picture of the, uh, the main character on there. And it does look like there's a reversible cover, which is kind of always neat. Um, the reversible cover is uh, looks like a castle of some type. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty neat. Almost like like a mechanical castle, though. You see, like there's like gears and stuff on it. Uh, let's flip the cover around, and uh, let's see what it looks like with the reversed cover. I always like to reverse the covers on these if they have one. I think it's cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty smart looking. That's pretty cool looking. All right, so inside that is obviously simple. That's just the game. Mr. Nimoy, will you behave? Um, and then also it came with a letter here. Uh, let's see what's inside this letter. Uh, looks like we have a uh, thank you for your order. Um, and then also some advertisement for coming soon boxes. Apparently there's um, a box for Super Bullet Break and uh, Oli Show at, uh, at Funstock Games. It's, uh, what else do we have in here? Looks like we have some fun stock stickers. Looks like little little controllers. Kind of like, you know, their brand logo, just like my brand logo is Ginger Gaming Mentor. And uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's crack open the big box and let's see what's inside the big special edition. So on the box it does say Tandem A Tale of Shadows Magical Box Edition. Uh, by Hot Hot Team Interactive, www.tandemgames. That's a really cool picture of like a I don't know, like a little little like, like teddy bear or something on there, like a, kind of like a knitted knitted kind of a critter. And Mr. Nimoy is on top of my head, and I don't lock it. All right, so let's open this bad boy up and let's see what's inside of here. Um, it is wrapped in plastic fairly nicely. It's not too ridiculously heavy. It looks like it just opens up like this. Not much weight to it. A little, little airtight. It's like an air seal, so like I'm pulling against the uh, the air. Probably be a nice, satisfying pop when it comes out the top. Yes, indeed. So nothing in the lid, just an empty lid. Um, and inside we have uh, wrapped very well, by the way, is a, um, a figurine. Let's go ahead and take her out. And then underneath of the foam, do you have anything underneath of the foam? Ah, we do have something underneath of the foam. A, uh, a book. Mr. Nemo, can you behave, sir? Why are you, you never, you, you, literally you live stream with me every day, but today you can't behave. Behave. That's right, I'm talking to you. Behave. I'm trying to, to see this little lady, I'm trying to do the video, and you're not paying attention. <laughs> so 
So this figure is actually pretty cool looking. Um, very well done. Her legs are so skinny though. Like, I'm not really sure if you can see it from here, but like her legs are just absolutely skinny. I mean, I really hope those are uh, made out of some solid material because I would hate for it to break there. And uh, God bless it. Stop it. She's got this really big bow on the back, which is pretty cool. We're gonna get a fashion shot of her. She has like some really intricate, like delicate features. Like you can see her little piece of hair right here, which is just ever so lightly sticking out. Like, uh, I mean, the paintwork on her is pretty neat. And although I haven't played the game yet, which we will be playing the game, by the way, before the video is over, um, she's really cool, cool looking character. And then we also have this book the uh, Tandem, A Tale of Shadows. Mr. Knees, come on now. So, uh, you know what? Let's see if I can get a, uh, a better kind of angle at this than what, I've, than what I currently have, which is not so great. Uh, let me bring the camera in. I'm gonna point the camera down. And let me turn the book around so that you guys can see it. So we have uh, Tandem, A Tale of Shadows, inspired by visual codes of the Victorian era in England, the graphic universe of Tandem. A Tale of Shadows is a colorful, childlike, and a little bit scary. Many influences has helped create this graphic universe from Tim Burton to Disney through Sherlock Holmes and the light of the golden age of Dutch painting. And uh, we have a really interesting looking picture of her here. And uh, some very interesting looking pictures here. I mean, this is uh, kind of like a yeah, definitely Victorian. And I guess that's her little dolly there. I'm assuming that uh, there's some sort of lantern involved in, uh, in this game, which we're going to have to play around with later. Definitely have some uh, some interesting little tidbits here in the newspaper articles, like where is Thomas Kane, uh, Lundus Police, uh, latest alarming statement. Well, that's the uh, the artwork that we have on the uh, the reversible cover, and there she is going through uh, London, very much so like Sherlock Holmes era style London building work. And uh, that's a very interesting piece of a cake. I noticed that she's right here. Very, very small compared to the cake. I wonder if she gets shrunken down during the game. It's very, very interesting. Um, look at this, though. There's like a little... There's a, is that a dead body right there? Uh, is this the same room, but like at different time periods or something? That's pretty cool. Uh-oh, the dolly is uh, got his eyes glowing, and I'm not sure what to make of these evil-looking bees. Got a nice little carousel here, creepy little dolly. And uh, some sort of like pipe organs. Also, we got like an underwater helmet. A lot to do with this lantern. So like here's the lantern that she was carrying around and then here's also a lantern which seems to incorporate that lantern into it. And then we have this fountain with the polar bear on top. That's pretty cool looking too. Oh, these are really neat. I love it, these kind of like old style posters. London report, Thomas Kane mysteriously disappeared by Sir Conan Doyle. Who is Thomas Kane's son, a famous Ill illusionist, family better known as the Wizard Kid? Wear a mask and save your life. The Red Cross has come to assist the Board of Health. Doctors and nurses can be obtained to take care of the afflicted. You must wear a mask, not only to protect yourself, but your children and the neighborhood <laughs> and the neighbor from influenza, pneumonia, and death. Uh, we got tricks of the sea, tricks, tricks under the sea. The Kane family, Europe's frightening sensation. Do not feed a cubby after midnight. That is really strange looking. It's like a little, like, like almost looks like a paper bag with like a mouth and eyeballs. Sounds of the shadows. 
It's got a, a record. It's kind of cool looking. The Kane Manor and its five universes. Well, that's uh, creepy as I'll get out. Throughout the game, the player will be able to discover five different universes which correspond to areas of the mansion. The gardens, the basement, the clockwork, and finally the greenhouse. Struggling with my chinchilla here. He's normally not this bad during videos, I promise. Today, I don't know what's gotten into him, but he's particularly bad today. This art book is rather interesting. Here's another picture of her, absolutely tiny. So it does look like we are going to end up in a, uh, a miniature universe of some type. Rather interesting. A giant pterodactyl. I can put up on strings. Looks like some sort of water wheel. And uh, like a giant bird cage. Again, with the uh, dinosaur bones. Seems to be a theme throughout the house. It's very interesting. And that's the same one as before. Only different somehow. I don't understand what's going on here. They're definitely different from each other. Mr. Nimoy cannot control himself to save his life. I almost think it's absolutely hilarious that you guys probably are watching this and like, man, that was a bad little chanchula. Or, why does he even have him on the video in the first place? I thought it would be a cute idea to have Mr. Nimoy with me, but uh, apparently I was wrong. I'm not sure if he's just really interested in my book. I think he's just really interested in the book. I'm trying to figure out the differences between these two paintings. It, it seems like one has a background, like, like grass and, and like rocks and whatnot, and the other one's background is black with uh, kind of like a building in the background, as if it's in like another universe, so to speak. Which seems kind of cool. And, uh, and then we have this like a creepy, creepy doll thing here, which again, she's absolutely tiny. And again, another creepy doll, which, uh, <laughs> and the doll that seems to be controlling some clockwork knights. And that's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna go to a fashion shot of the character here um, and then we're gonna flash to some gameplay uh, because you know it's a uh, let's test out the game let's have some fun with it shall we Alright, so here we are over on the Nintendo Switch, and we're going to take a look at Tandem A Tale of Shadows, and uh, we have our little, uh, our little, little dolly here. I, I, I'm not sure what her name is yet, so we're going to have to find out what her name is. And uh, let's hop in and let's see what this game is like, shall we? Kind of a unique little loading screen there. That's interesting. The disappearance of Thomas Kane, the only son of the famous Kane illusionist, still hasn't been solved by Scotland Yard. Ten-year-old Emma, huh? intrigued, is determined to investigate.
As Emma walks the streets of London towards the mansion, a carriage passes her at full speed. And a teddy bear falls out of the window, unexpectedly. Fenton, the teddy bear, jumps onto his feet and sets off in pursuit of the vehicle. Without thinking twice, Emma joins the race, launching after him. Okay, Fenton. We don't know each other much. But we are going to have to help each other find Thomas. Can I count on you? Can I count on you? So her name is Emma. Ah, we are learning something already. Hello, Emma. Although I do think they missed an opportunity to have Fenton. Fenton looks very cute as a, uh, a little like stuffed animal kind of a creature. Very interesting. Kind of wanted to get a good look at the uh, at the screen there without me up there. So we have an art gallery, that's pretty cool. Ah, so it's like a, a grid style, kind of like Mario, uh, Super Mario 3, right? That's rather interesting. Chapter one, the gardens upside down. What's going on here? Hey, what's the matter with you, Phantom? Stop that right now. You're scaring me. Oh my god. I don't like crowds at all. This overwhelming shadow lives in many things and seems to hide many more. And what is this crystal made for? She certainly sounds like an 11 year old girl. <laughs> little, little Emma. My niece's name is actually Emma, believe it or not. She also had stick legs. <laughs> Little stick legs. Well, that's an interesting point of view. Overhead kind of a camera. Oh, I can switch to the bear. Ah, it's one of those kinds of games where you have, like, control over multiple people. Ah, so I was able to open the door for myself. So this seems almost kind of a uh, puzzle, puzzle-like, I suppose. Actually, rather enjoy these types of games. Let's go, Fenton. Ah, I got myself a lantern. Fenton can walk on the shadows. Now that is interesting. That is a very interesting mechanic. Very, very interesting indeed.
The Nintendo Switch probably has some uh, pretty bad load times. I would assume, out of all of the games, it's probably the worst, right? Because I do believe this is also on uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, I think I remember them uh, asking me if I had PlayStation, which I do not. I mean, obviously the first step of level is going to be the easiest, you know, I would assume anyway. All right, so we got little Fenton there. Uh, we need some shadows for him, right? So we need something that will give us some shadows. Um, or maybe we can just, no, uh, we probably can't jump there. Seems a little bit too far. I'm not sure. Oh wait, hold on. If I stand right here, I make a shadow for Fenton. Ah. That was pretty easy, actually. Well, these are, these are rather simple levels. I hope they get a little bit more complicated than this. I mean, I always assume that the first level is going to be the easiest. So, uh, I mean, you know, let's not let's not speak too soon. But these are these are a little easy, a little easy. Let's go to the next one, shall we? Next one is called Lock and Key. I do rather like the mechanic of Fenton walking on the shadows. I think that's uh, I think that's really cool. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a game do that where you had to walk on the shadows. All right, so we've got a door. Let's open it up, and we've got little Fenton here. We've got some locked doors. A boot. Doesn't look like I can go into the water. Alright, let's switch to Fenton. Can he make this jump? He cannot. Ah, poor Fenton. Oh lord, it's really spiky down there. Alright. So Fenton can't do anything at the moment. Not really sure what we can do. There's a little gnome over here. What's this little gnome over here doing? Um, I guess we need some shadows for Fenton. Let's, oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. We can give him a shadow. Alright, Fenton, open the door for me. Thank you, Fenton. Grab the key. I probably need to make another shadow for Fenton. Um, let's see here. Fenton is stuck in the shadows. Okay, so if, if Fenton is stuck in the shadows, he can't give us any, uh, he can't move. So he has to be in the light. That's interesting. A little bit more complicated than the first two levels, but uh, certainly not overly complicated. Isn't that right, Emma? She really has a very cute figurine. I mean, like, it's very, very daintily done. Like, a lot of figurines that you see, they're, like, very um, rigid and big and bulky, you know. Uh, because, of course, you know, the plastics don't really quite, like, stay as well. But uh, she seems to be more, um, like, very fine, fine-tuned. Like, her hands are very small. Uh, she has, she even has, like, little wispy hair uh, things coming down. She's very neat. They could have gone cheap on that, and they didn't. And, um, I mean, quite honestly, I, I'm not really sure how well she would hold up if she got, like, 
like a dog got their hands on her or something and chewed her up. But uh, I, I'm, she's she's sturdy enough that so I don't think she's just gonna break on her own. You'd have to uh, wiggle her and pull her and like mess you know mess with her to try and get her to break. Oh, there's my Fenton. Oh, what is going on here? We got a lot of puzzles now. Okay. Let's see. Alright, there we go. So that's one part of the puzzle down. Um, I need to be able to make a shadow for Fenton. Can I make a shadow? Uh, not quite. Some sort of ball right here. There's a lot going on over here. Let's see what I can do with Fenton. I opened something. Oh, okay, there we go. And then jump back, Fenton. That gets us the key. Jump back up, Fenton. Now we should be able to open the door. And then Fenton can come over here. Getting a little bit more complicated already, I'm noticing. So now we've got things that we can push and pull involved. Uh, we've got the keys, we've got extra buttons that need to be pressed, multiple doorways. So they're ramping it up, they're ramping it up, boys. Let's see if we get stuck. Let's see if we get stuck. Around the pool. Ah, Mr. Nemo, I finally decided to come back out. Oh, are you finished being bad? Bad little chonchula. Don't think nobody noticed that you were bad. We all noticed, okay? We seen that you was being bad. We seen you being bad. Is poor Fenton. I don't even see him. Oh, he's all the way down there. Oh no, Fenton. I have to be on solid ground. Is that a frog? Is that a giant frog over there? Ah, I think I see what I need to do. Hold on, let me back this up a little bit. Um, like that, yeah. No, 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 don't let go of it. Let go of it. There we go. Frog, don't eat me. Come on, Fenton, the teddy bear. Mr. Fenton, the teddy bear. He's a big old teddy bear, and I don't touch his hair. He's a big old teddy bear. All right. Now we've 
got a blue key. Inside of here is another box. easy a little a little more advanced it's nothing that i haven't seen like a thousand times though in a, like a you know similar games like zelda breath of the wild or you know other kinds of puzzly type games um hopefully they come up with uh, some interesting mechanics the the shadow mechanic of course is the one mechanic that i haven't seen before but a lot of this is uh, is pretty standard in the puzzle genre and it's quite entertaining it's entertaining for sure isn't that right, Mr. Nimoy? While you guys weren't looking, and I was doing the unboxing, uh, he literally jumped down and started running around the room and started, like, kicking things and, and, and jumping on top of stuff and being rude. That's right, I'm talking about you. Go hide in the shirt. <gasps> Light, her light went out, so I gotta recharge the lights. So that turns on a light. Right, but the light doesn't do me any good unless I have something to cast a shadow. So that's where this comes in. Alright. There we go. So now we have another light on. things that cast shadows. Oh, ow, ooh, ooh. Oh, I can't step on that. I guess I gotta jump to these then. Oh no, I need to get all the way up there. No! Alright, so let's see if we can adjust this a little bit so it goes more upward. And hopefully he can still make it. Very cool indeed. Fenton, you're growing on me, my buddy. get Fenton. Oh, I know. Hold on. I just need to change the angle of the dangle. The angle of the dangle, my boys. The angle of the dangle. The angle of the dangle. Mr. Knees. If you've never met Mr. Nimoy before, let me introduce you. This is Mr. Nimoy. He's a chinchilla. He's my friend. He likes to sit with me. Sometimes he's bad. Sometimes he's good. You know, just like most animals, he has his bad days. Today seems to be one of his his bad days. Um, 
Why are your ears so hot? Why you got such hot ears? Why are your ears red? Chinchillas use their ears to cool themselves down, like elephants do. And uh, when they get hot, their ears fill up with with blood, and uh, and that helps cool them down because their ears are real big, and it, it spreads out the heat and lets them lets them cool off. Okay, all right, that's pretty neat. All right, so we got oh oh. Oh, oh no, there's some holes. Boink. 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 Oh. Alright. Yeah, it's a very neat game. Very neat. Bing ga bang ga boom ga bang ga bang ga bang. Boom. Oh. Well, that's not good. I don't like evil spiders. I don't like evil spiders. No, thank you, evil sir. You're a mean spider, sir. Not quite sure what to do, except maybe just run across when the spider's not looking as quickly as possible. Seems to be multiple spiders here. Hmm. I don't think I can make that. I got it, my boys. I got it. Welcome to the party where you get it. Delicious, delicious treats. So very tasty. I must be because they gobbled me up. Just like that, I was gone in a vat. Hmm. That's a little bit better. Gotta get the angle of the dangle, my boys. The angle of the dangle. Wah, 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 wah. Mm. Forgot I had the tip jar up there. <laughs> the, don 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 the donations always stay up there, by the way. Uh, that is because, you know, when you guys do do donate, I want everyone to know that, uh, you know, that you donated. I want, the I want them to be able to see that you're supporting the channel. So uh, when you make a donation using the donation link, it ap always appears in the tip ticker above. Uh, that way you guys and gals out there can, uh, you know, see your name up in the lights. See no evil, hear no evil. Interesting. We've already got a little bit of a dude jack going on here. Alright, let's get our boy out of the darkness. And let's push this forward a little bit so we get a bridge. Let's move him over to this baton. This baton. Alright, that very nicely blocks the, the, the spider from trying to eat my soul. Which is always a good thing. Nobody likes evil spiders. Nobody likes them. No, they don't. Evil, 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 evil spiders. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think maybe Fenton needs to come down and stay on this button. Um, so that I can go over to the other side and do something. Alright. So now Fenton has successfully done that. Whatever it is he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> whatever it is. Oh, a manor map. What's that? That doesn't take us out, does it? I don't want to do one one one. I just thought it was just like a map of the uh, of the world. Maybe it did take us back to the home screen. Boo hoo. Boo. Ooh, it did. Boo hoo. Well, we know what to do. It's not like we don't know what to do. Um, poor little Fenton. Bouncy, bouncy. Wait, what is that? Am I resetting Fenton? All right, Fenton, over here. All right, I'll push this forward. Oh no, poor Fenton. Don't do it, Fenton. All right, let's get Fenton up here. to do from this point. We've got a gate that's locked. We've got a lamp over here. we got a little horsey that I can't do anything with. Although he is, uh, you know. We can't go across. Oh. Oh, this deactivates. I see. So when the spider walks across it, he deactivates it. Alright, alright. And that makes sense. So what we gotta do is we gotta wait for the spider to walk across it and then run across and grab the key. Um, and then once we run across and grab the key, then we have to run back. All right, pretty self-explanatory. One, two, three, go. Now we wait for him to trigger this button and then we run across again. Unlock this door. Pull this down so that we can make a shadow for Fenton. Oh no! Ant by the spider, my boys. You can see through it. Good Fenton. Oh, you guys can't see Fenton down there in the corner. Hold on. Let me move. I gotta move. So whenever I die, Fenton, Fenton, he cries. Look. Down here, you see Fenton? Look, he goes, oh no. He goes, no. Poor Fenton. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do with this then. First time I've been stumped on one of these puzzles. Let me switch to Fenton. So Fenton has this button. Let me close the button for a second. Uh, 
I mean, I doubt... I don't know if he can actually climb that. I think that might be too high. Just a little bit too high. Still step on the button to block this guy. Um, maybe if I drag this. Oh no, Fenton! Yeah, I'm not sure. This is, uh, it's gonna be something I'm missing. Get him, uh, can I get the spider killed somehow? Oh no! So it seems pretty obvious that the shadow is moving in correlation to the light sources. So the light source up here, for instance, casts a shadow backwards, whereas the light source over here casts the shadow forwards, right? I can get Fenton up here. But then once I have Fenton up here, I don't really have any way to get him up there. Oh, the light, the different light sources is combining together. Ah. So like two shadows, when they combine together, obviously, um, you know, they can make a more a stronger shadow than they would otherwise by themselves that's interesting so it wasn't just the culmination of one or the other shadow it was the two light sources see this is getting more complicated ah. let's see if we can beat the first level at the very least and that will be the end for our unboxing video we might visit this later though to uh, see if we can finish it off because why not Outside the box. Got some spider webs. Alright, so Fenton's got this button right here. What does this do? Oh no. Uh, Fenton got us killed. Good job, Fenton.
think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Alright, so we're gonna pull this out of the way. We're gonna go into this room. We're gonna have Fenton... Oh. We're gonna have Fenton pull the lever. And then we are gonna see if we can trap the spider inside. Like that. Nice. Alright. Now let's move Fenton this way. Alright, that turns that off. And we can turn this off. And then Fenton can also turn these off for us. Alright, we have another evil spider in the way. <laughs> I was trying to see if maybe I could bypass the spider somehow. No. Ah, I am not sure exactly how to do this. Alright, so when I press this button, both doors go up and the, uh... And the evil little things also come up too, though. So I can't bypass. If I do this, I could potentially try and sneak in. And now, as soon as I even get anywhere near close, immediately the spider rushes for me. Um. This button closes both doors but also activates the trap. Well, this is a little bit of a tough one here. Um, maybe I need to do this. Now I'm in the spider's room. Aha! Inside the spider's room. Hey, look at us figuring stuff out. Fenton is stuck in the shadows. Poor little Fenton. That's too steep. Hold on, Fenton. I got you, buddy. Hold on. Let's go, little Fenton. Little radioactive Fenton. Not sure why I have a sentient teddy bear. Oh no, there was a spider right through the door. That's just Rowad. That's just Ruaid. That's okay, Fenton. We got this. Let's see. Oh, no. Sorry, Fenton. There we 
go. Upsy daisy. You can't go into the shadow because the shadow is, uh... Best I can do for you, Fenton. I'm stuck myself. Let's see if I can give you a little leg up there. Oh, Lord, there's another body in here. Came later, evil spiders. Nobody likes you. You, you mean? Y'all some mean spiders. Always trying to eat people and turn them into, into poo. Zigzag. Gonna be the zig, the zag, the ziggity zag, a zig zig zag, you don't zag, a gonna be a zag zag ziggity big big a ziggity zoom zag a ziggity zoom. We'll go in there if you want to go in there, Mr. Nee. Alright, where's our buddy at? Our buddy's over there. Alright. First things first. Let's move this if we can. Alright, let's move our buddy over here. And uh, let's get this a little bit more. Kind of angle he did. Just rude. Yeah, stay in there. Nobody likes you anyway. Evil mean spider, your mom is a poopy face. Evil mean spider, nobody likes you. Nobody likes you, stupid spider, nobody does. Your stupid poopy spider. Stick it in your butt. Got him locked out of there. Hmm. Oh, big creepy marionette doll over there. Uh, 
Um. Too far away. Oh, he really can't jump. <laughs> Poor little teddy bear. He's a little bit of a chunky boy. He's a little bit of a chunky, chunky boy. Let's figure out what's on the other side of this, shall we? We're gonna lock the spider out. And we're gonna go run around in there and see what's in here. Because it looks like we can go through here. Oh, <gasps> what's that? I see you. What are you, sir? No, no, no. What are you? I see you. I got a little, little oh, Fenton is stuck in the shadows. Uh, da, 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 da. No, come here. What are you doing? Why are you running from me? Don't do that. They were in the box art. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. Alright, so it looks like this is where we're supposed to trap the spider. Um, so we need to get Fenton over here. How do we get Fenton over here? It looks like we need to have him jump through this doorway. That's the only way I can see to get him over here. Okay. So let's arrange the shadow so he can try and get through the doorway. No. I just had a little bit more. Let's try. Let's try some uh, slight maneuvers. Doesn't seem like I can get through there. Oh, there's shadow on the other side of the door. So even if I could get through there. It's completely in shadow, so I can't actually go in there because unless there's light, he can't go in. See, now he's stuck in shadows because I'm not in the room. Well, how am I supposed to get light inside the room? Um. 
Well, that's him locked in the room. There's the shard up there. I don't want to know what's over there. I think that might be the, the answer. Um, let's pull this back through. I just want to know what's over here. I don't think I ever searched over here. Found a secret. You and found a secret. Will Fenton always be there to protect Thomas? Interesting. So probably not something to help me progress. Just a secret. Nothing in the spider's room either. Hmm. Instantaneous death. trouble understanding how he's supposed to get in this room if um, I can't make the shadows allow him to get into the room. Oh, wow. There's spikes right there. That's painful. Just like walk off. No, that does not help me. Dang it, now he's stuck down there again. Because he accidentally fell on something. The problem that I'm noticing here is that he is obviously stuck in shadow. So I'm using this to give him a shadow to walk on. But my light doesn't traverse between the two rooms. So as soon as I leave this room, the light source is gone and he is stuck in shadow. Like it's that's all that he has left is shadow. There's nothing left. And he can't go into that room because that room is also in shadow.
Maybe it has something to do with this. That's the only other thing in here that's making a shadow. Let's trap the spider in here. And then let's see if we can use that one where he is, where the spider is. Alright. So with the spider trapped, let's see if we can use this to create a shadow that he can walk on. That uh, seems to have worked. Seems to have it ever worked. Alright, now we need to call the spider. We need to run after the spider. Trap the spider in his hole. This will allow us to use this upstairs. Oh yeah, we gotta get Fenton upstairs first before we can leave. Oh, look at that! We got that, Mr. Knees! We do that! <laughs> he said, I'm going to take a nap. Don't tell me nothing. I think this is the last one. In the in the first area. This one is called Jack in the Box. The puzzles are definitely getting more and more intricate, which is something that I always enjoy. Um, I understand why they have to make the puzzles simple at first. Um, I've always been pretty good at puzzles, though, so those simple puzzles always were very silly to me. Alright, Fenton has a crank he can turn. What does that do? Oh no, spiky spikes. Oh 
Oh, it's not dark enough shadows. Um, I need two shadows then? Oh, that's interesting. So the combination of the two shadows is enough. Interesting. Okay. So the problem is this light down here is essentially overshining any of the shadows that I'm creating. Um, so basically what I've got to do is I've got to somehow block this light uh, in a way that creates a shadow that I need. <laughs> Lord, poor Fenton. Poor, poor Fenton. I'm not sure he can make it. It's too far of a jump. Just a tad bit. No, honestly, it seems to be making it worse. Okay, there we go. Spiders. They're trying to eat me.
So there's spider webs all over the floor. <laughs> um You can't really run across because of all the spider webs on the floor. It does make things rather interesting. I mean, you could try to run across, but of course the spider turns around immediately and just instantly bites your head off. Nom nom nom. Tastes good. Like a chicken. Like a delicious, delicious chicken. Press this button, the spider comes out. He waits a very short period of time. Then he runs back into his little hovel. Then he turns right back around. There doesn't seem to be anything to trap him with. Not enough time to make it across. Definitely not enough time to make it through the spider webs. We also got the spiders here. The interesting thing here is that we have this spider. Who seems to be connected to the other spider. And what's this? There's a boss fight. That'd be interesting. Jack in the box here. It's enormous. Yes. Fenton, are you okay? Let's get out of here before this gets worse.
Yep, so it looks like we've unlocked a new map. This one is the Boiler Room. So I'm assuming different themes. Um, probably quite a few different worlds. Uh, honestly, a very interesting game indeed. I'm going to have to do maybe a full playthrough on this. Uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when it's a special unboxing of a uh, special edition of, uh, of a tandem, A Tale of Shadows. And um, I can see why they call it A Tale of Shadows now, because you're literally using the shadows to uh, to traverse the world with, uh, with little Fenton. Emma and Fenton. It's very interesting. Anyway, as always, keep watching, 